What's good people, it's Chi here. I just wanted to get into a quick video about PropStream and how I'm using it to pull agent information that you can't get elsewhere. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, well, there's Privy, there's, there's Redfin, there's Zillow. You can find all this information there. And those platforms are awesome in their own right. But PropStream is the king of data. And the reason it's the king of data is because you can select all the information that you want to import or export. And it allows you to import information, which many of these other don't, systems don't allow you to do. Or if they do, they do not allow you to export the agent's email and phone number, which are the main things that I'm going for. I don't want to have to manually look and, and go one by one to each one and then call them that way. I want to import them all into my system at one, in one big bulk lump sum <laughs> and, um, you know, be able to then put them in a dialer or, or put them in a text campaign, which is really easily doable with PropStream, where it's not with, with Privy, you can't do that. With uh, PropWire does have columns for where you would think that the, that information would be populated, but as of right now, it's not. So PropStream is still the king when it comes to data. And uh, I'm going to show you how to get this information right now. Okay, so when you come into PropStream, you're gonna get a screen that looks like this. Um, it's just a map. But what you wanna do is you wanna go into your filter and you're gonna set up some filters. Now there's some quick lists here that are really, really helpful and beneficial, but unfortunately, what we, what we need is not here. We're gonna have to create our own list. We can't use one of these quick lists for this. What we wanna do is we want to come into property characteristics for me, I'm looking for residential. Again, this may be different for some people. You might be looking for vacant land. You may be looking for commercial properties. But for me, it's gonna be residential. We're gonna go single family. I'm not gonna do condos and townhouses now, although I do like those. Um, bedrooms, I need a minimum of three bedrooms. Uh, bathrooms don't matter to me as much. Building size, at least a thousand square feet at least 1950 build. Okay, so a lot of you are asking, well, you're just looking for agents. Why are you being so particular in terms of the property characteristics? Well, the reason is because I want to deal with agents who find the sorts of properties that I am looking for. So I'm trying to narrow things down. There, there are, in, in Charlotte, North Carolina, I believe there are about 6,000 or so agents. I can't remember exactly how many there are, but I think in North Carolina in general, there's about 14,000 agents. I think a lot of them are in Charlotte. Uh, who wants to call all of them? <laughs> it's like, if I can narrow it down to the people who are getting the sorts of properties that I want, that makes more sense to me than, than going on a wild goose chase and chasing down a whole bunch of people. So come to, uh, Year build, 1950, uh, the, the rest of this stuff doesn't matter. We're gonna go to MLS status, and we are looking for, let's see, sold listings and failed listings. And then we're going to look for MLS status date Let's say the top of the year. So we'll go to January 1st. And we'll come to today. We're gonna to type our keywords in here. I like keywords because these I'm I'm cop I copied them and pasted them. But keywords for me also narrow it down a bit. So we're only looking for for those folks who are finding and or dealing with distressed properties. Investor special, needs repairs, fixer. Uh, investor, uh, needs work, TLC, handyman. All these things are keywords that often will show up in listings on the MLS when people are selling a house that needs some kind of work. So of course, that's types of properties that we're going after. So I'm going to use those keywords here to narrow it down even further. All right, from there, we're going to go to equity, estimated value. And just here, I don't want people who are 
finding properties that are that are too expensive we're not looking for mansions or anything like that distressed mansions are a lot harder to sell than you know regular properties so we're looking at something that's estimated value about six hundred thousand dollars or less then we can close that up here we're gonna go to Charlotte North Carolina here you can type Charlotte in if it doesn't uh, show you a you know pre it doesn't pre fill it out for you I've done it so much that it pre fills it out for me okay so we do that and then we have 495 properties here we're going to add these to list create a new list we'll name this Charlotte NC agents 23 I actually already did that so it's probably already saved but we'll do it again come here to my properties I'm do Charlotte find it there it is NC agents 23 We've got 578 total properties here we're gonna just click on them all now here's where the magic happens over here by this gear a lot of people don't know this about about PropStream, but it is the power of PropStream. Oh, not that right there, sorry. Um, so what this is, is it's gonna filter your the list that you export. So you don't need a lot of this information. Mailing address, you know, if you're not skip tracing anybody, you don't need any mailing addresses. I don't need the owner's name of the property because I'm not calling the owner. Um, I don't even need the city, state, and zip of the, the, the property. Yeah, it defaults that you have to have the property address, but other than that, don't need anything else. Don't need the bedrooms, don't need the total bathrooms, don't need buildings, square footage. I don't need any of this information about the property because I'm not, go these properties are already sold. I'm not interested in those properties. I'm interested in the agents that sold them, right? So the only thing I need, I don't need the MLS status. I don't need the MLS date don't need the MLS amount I do need the agent's name I need the agent's phone number I need the agent's email and I may also use the brokerage name and the brokerage phone if these things do not work or they do, do not show up for whatever reason alright so we don't need any of this lien information we don't need any of that don't need any of that so the cool thing about this now is now you have realtor list like you can apply and save this or name it whatever you want and then you can you can either have this as a default or you can have multiple different list uh, different um, list filters right so for buyers I have a layout just for buyers but this is what we're gonna do for for realtors you'd apply this and then as you can see this is all the information that's just gonna come out on your list um, so as you can see we got their emails and we have their phone numbers right emails and phone numbers now this is probably have have to be grayed out because of the way that YouTube does not allow us to have show these things but these are all email addresses for all of these agents and these are all uh, their phone numbers all right you have their their phone here number here this is the brokerage phone number so all these phone numbers here of all these agents just goes on and on and on these are types of agents I want to reach out to because they've got the sorts of properties that I'm looking for and that we've narrowed it down tremendously so awesome way to pull pull a list we're gonna go tier to you can you would think to go to export but that's gonna pull an XLS file we want to see CSV so we're gonna go to actions I don't know why they do it like this but that's the one thing I, I'm a little bit confused about with prop stream but nevertheless you can export a CSV file here if you export here it will be an XLS and you will have to to change it and there we have it and we have our XLS here let's see you can see what it looks like we got all our information the only thing we could we would eliminate the address line we'd have agent name agent phone agent email brokerage name brokerage phone number and these things are basically um, by default it says date added to list and, and method of add but when we when we clean up our list we basically take away the address and we just import all this information into our system for for the agents and it's a beautiful thing you got you got you got yourself an agent list 
that fast, that easy. And more importantly, you got agents who fit the description. You know, that they are what you need them to be. So that is how you pull an agent list from PropStream. It's a beautiful thing. I love PropStream. If you're interested in PropStream, I'm telling you, you should check it out. Go to my description here. There's going to be a link to PropStream. You can get a seven day free trial and it's just an awesome software. I love it. Hope you will too. Thanks for watching.